Hey guys and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've done a commentary just because I've been really focusing on editing that footage and making those videos for the Team Lily Bridge training series. Um, but I do want to go ahead and go back to at least doing the commentary on my own training videos um, simply because it helps me track my own progress which is what this channel was originally intended for and also so that you guys can get a little bit uh, different content um, as you're viewing and you can kind of uh, get an idea of what I think about when I'm training. So last weekend I hit my deadlift opener, it's set at 500. At the meet I'm planning to end at 600, so most likely my second attempt will sit around 550. Now um, my deadlift opener was very easy, however um, since the weekend before that, I had missed uh, 600. Um, I did feel a little bit fried, and I pretty much just did not want to deadlift. Um, and now, interesting um, enough, the deadlift, I feel like, um, as I keep learning a little bit more about my own body, is just one of those movements that's either there or it's not. Um, and it's very dependent on two things. Um, number one, your central nervous system. Your central nervous system has to be there 100% um, or else um, you could have a hard day even though the strength is there. So I've had instances where I won't deadlift for a while, come in and hit a PR um, versus training it and training it and never getting very far. Um, so if anything, next training cycle, I might take it a little bit easier with those. And then the second thing is um, the form and the technique has to be spot on right off of the floor. It's not like the squat where you can kind of set yourself up and fix it if you kind of messed up a little bit. You pretty much have to hit it dead on, drive the hips through and pull back simultaneously, uh, synchronize everything together perfectly on the spot or else that weight's not going to move. Um, you really don't have any... Uh, you know, in the uh, room there to be able to uh, fix it if you do end up pulling a little bit wrong just because you're going from that static position to that pulling motion um, or that action motion. Um, so it's a lot harder to kind of fix it if it's already in the wrong groove. Um, so that being said, um, you know, I'll learn that for next training cycle. Um, but then again, I've also been learning a lot just because Normally, I'll do about two, maybe three competitions a year, um, but this, uh, since December, this will be my third competition. So pretty much in, in four months, I've done three competitions. So I'm still learning about how to um, take my body within its limits and not push it up anymore. Um, so with that deadlift, it, it didn't feel that great, um, you know, central nervous wise. So I'm definitely looking forward to the deload and towards just taking it easy up, up until the meet, which is still uh, about two weeks out, uh, closing in on one week out. I'll definitely be fresh by then. I can already feel myself recovering as I'm recording this on um, Tuesday. Now... With the uh, with the squat, I pretty much just hit a very quick uh, uh, warm up. Um, I did it the day after just because I felt fried, but I did want to go in there because I had been talking to coach, um, and the weekend before I had already taken my squat opener, which usually I would do it on on that week um, as as my uh, deadlift opener. But because I got frustrated that I missed six hundred, I kind of wanted to just prove it to myself that. I could do something I put my mind to and I did do that uh my squat opener but um I still wanted to push some some weight for um for that weekend uh last weekend so I talked to coach and he told me that um I should essentially just hit something where I'm gonna feel confident enough going into the meet so sure enough I just worked up to 465 which is my first um wrapped warm-up so usually I'll go 465 510 um, 545 and then over to my top sets so that's perfect um, it, it went up really nicely really smoothly and it really did build up my confidence just so that I can get some weight moving and if I can hit that when I feel fried and after hitting my deadlift opener um, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely set um, now um, definitely looking forward to this next meet I'm planning on hitting that um, that 600 squat so um, I won't be necessarily disappointed if I can't pull 600 at the meet, but I definitely do want that 600 squat and everything's looking great leading up to then. 
So if you like this uh, commentary, please subscribe, um, leave some comments, leave some likes. Um, just give me some feedback to see if you guys like this type of content and I'll keep putting it out there. Thank you.